Hey, Wayne Foreman back with you. And today I am going to talk a little bit about web hosting and the web hosting provider that I use for my WordPress websites. So let's take a look. All right, web hosting. I use a provider called SiteGround, as you see here on the screen. They are a fantastic web host for people that are looking to get started uh, on the web, whether that's you know, with your own personal blog, whether that's your business blog, whether you're looking for a place to host email, SiteGround has got a great combination of products that are available. They're easy to use at a great price. So let's take a look at some of the features that SiteGround offers, um, which is part of the reason why I choose them for my personal sites. So you can see under web hosting, they've got lots of options. They have everything from shared hosting to dedicated hosting to reseller hosting. For the purpose of this video, we'll look at shared hosting plans. That's exactly what you would expect. That's a single web server that has multiple hosts on it, which would mean all of my websites are on a server, all of your websites are on the same server. There's lots of us that share the same server. It's a great way to share resources and keep the costs down while you're building your business. The great thing about SiteGround is that as your business grows, you can move from a shared hosting plan to a more robust plan if you need it. So it makes it very easy for you to grow. The feature that I like the best is that all of my sites are WordPress sites. WordPress is a piece of software that is acts as a content management software and SiteGround is set up specifically for hosting WordPress. Other services as well, but for me, WordPress is my primary interest. So if we look at WordPress, you can see that there are three different plans, which we'll talk about pricing in just a moment. And from a WordPress specific standpoint, there are several items that are interesting. So there's a one-click installer, which is great for newbies uh, to get WordPress set up and installed without having to download any software, configure software. It's a point-and-click wizard type interface. Um, it automatically keeps your WordPress up to date. In this day of security concerns, you always want all of your software to be patched to the latest version to prevent any kind of security issues. And SiteGround takes care of updating your sites automatically for you. It also has a pretty handy staging capability, if you want, that allows you to build a test site and you can make changes on the test site without affecting your production site. And then you can move those changes into production as you are happy with them. So this is a handy feature when you get a little bit more advanced. From a speed standpoint, here's one of my favorite features. There's super caching built in. And essentially that means that SiteGround has built some custom plugins for WordPress to enable your site to be cached, which makes a site that's on a shared server go even faster. So we won't get into caching in this video, but just know that it is a great feature, works really well, and it comes with your site ground, site ground plan. So there's some pretty cool WordPress uh, options for you. So let's go back to pricing. You've got three plans, you can see as of the moment, uh, the plans are priced at about four bucks a month, six bucks a month, or 12 bucks a month. For me, I go with the Grow Big, the middle plan, at six dollars a month, or technically $5.95 a month, uh, because it allows me to host multiple websites in a single account. For two dollars more per month, it's well worth it to me to be able to set up multiple websites and get them started and going. I can always move them somewhere else later. If you go with the startup plan, you're limited to one website, which is fairly restrictive. The GoGeek plan is their most robust plan. It's about $12 a month, and it offers you know, more web space and allows you to have more visitors. And it has some extra WordPress features, which they call geeky features. And that's that staging I was talking about. Uh, a little bit fewer accounts on a server, but not a lot and then some other uh, programming and PCI compliance features. For me, not worth the extra $6 a month, probably not for you either. So Grow Big would be the plan that I would suggest that you start with. So some other things about SiteGround that I really like 
is they have a, a whole tutorial section on their website. So that's under our support. Um, and then if we click on WordPress under there, you can get to this WordPress tutorial site. And you can see they've got all kinds of information about how to install a site, how to create, uh, you know, customize sites, install themes, how to move your WordPress site from somewhere else to SiteGround, how to upgrade your plugins, how to update WordPress, although they handle that automatically, how to back up WordPress, which is extremely important. If anything happens to your website, you definitely want a backup. Uh, they give you some tips on security and performance. They also have some pretty useful tutorials as well. Uh, included our video lessons. So I really like the options, the support, the features that are offered from SiteGround. Signing up with SiteGround is a simple three-step process. Step one, you choose the plan that fits you best. Step two, you decide whether you want to register a new domain or use an existing domain. If you followed my previous video about Name Silo Domain Registrar, you will already have a domain in place. Step three, you choose the plan that you want to purchase, the period of time you want to purchase for, and any extra services, and that's it. Then you're immediately signed up for SiteGround and ready to get started. Simple three-step process. Okay, now that I've shown you what the sign-up process looks like, Let's take a look at, once you sign up with SiteGround, what the backend management console looks like. And the management console is pretty standard. It uses a piece of software called cPanel. And cPanel is what you're looking at now. So we are logged into my site. Um, you can see I'm on this Grow Big account. You have quickly listed here the IP address of your server the, the uh, name server accounts that SiteGround offers for you. And you can see all of the kind of standard things that are included with cPanel. So you can host multiple domains, you can park domains, you can redirect domains. So I use the subdomains and add-on domains features quite a bit. Uh, you can see that there are automatic installers, in this case for WordPress, it's one that I use frequently. There's some caching uh, improvement tools that are available. So the super cacher is the one that we just saw on the website. Uh, there's also integration with Cloudflare if you're familiar with them. And then specifically for WordPress, you can see that we've got caching, staging, and install and update tools available. Many of those are automatic, so there's not much you have to do there. You're also given the ability to set up email accounts. So you can host email accounts here or you can set up forwarders for email accounts that allow you to basically bounce mail off of your SiteGround account and have it land somewhere else, like your Gmail account, for example. You've got your legacy file manager and regular file manager if you need to upload or change files on your site. You've got the ability to manage your MySQL databases, which is what WordPress uses to host databases. And you can also look at your PHP configuration both from a PHP admin perspective, and then you can also update your PHP levels. So SiteGround allows you to run whatever version of PHP that you want. So even the latest version seven is supported. You've got stats and security available as well as advanced tools. So pretty standard stuff for cPanel, but extremely easy to navigate and set up and manage. If you're looking for web hosting to get started with your home on the internet, I can't think of a better place than SiteGround for you to get started. It's what I use to host my sites. I've been extremely pleased with the service that they offer and the support that they provide. and would encourage you to click on the link in the description below and check them out for yourself to get some more detail. Thanks for joining us today and hope to see you again in another video. Have a wonderful day.